While in professional turf management scenarios, turf grasses are actually painted for the benefit of the viewer audience, most of the time when you're looking around the community and you see kind of a greenish or reddish or even pinkish tent uh, to lawns, many times what you're seeing is the spray dye that the pesticide applicator is using as a best management practice to help them understand the areas that they've already treated. Use of a dye in a spray tank helps the applicator uh, avoid spray skips or from a double applying over an area. So it's a very beneficial thing to add to the tank. You can purchase these in small pint to quart sizes at many of the garden centers and agricultural stores around the state. We ask that you not attempt to use food colorants to perform the same task as sometimes the chemistry of those reacts with the herbicides that you're using and you'll actually decrease the activity of the herbicide that you're using. So if you want to use spray dyes, uh, buy an actual spray dye intended for that product. Also concerning areas that have been treated, it's very important to stay out of areas that have been treated until the spray is dried unless the label says otherwise. Furthermore, for a few weeks after that, it's not a bad idea to avoid walking through those treated areas. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.